What's up my fellow geeks, Zaki here with Geek Culture and today we've got something very special to unbox. We have the VivoBook S15 OLED Big Edition. Man, I have to say this is a really cool collaboration and I'm excited to see how Asus and Babe have combined their respective strengths to create a unique and stylish laptop. As you know, fashion brands have been looking at other ways to engage with their consumers in recent years. For instance, ASUS has joined forces with the German techwear brand acronym to release the ROG Flow Z13. And not to mention, there's also the ROG Zephyrus G14 Alan Walker Special Edition. And this also shows how fashion brands are willing to be creative and also experiment with new ideas. So with that said, let's start unboxing this. Right off the bat, with its packaging, you can see that it just has a lovely design. I don't think you guys will be actually throwing the box away. Uh, we've got the ASUS VivoBook a Bathing Ape, or Bape for short. You can see that there's an ape head over here. And of course, we have Baby Milo, because Baby Milo is cute. Oh, okay, we've got two sides to this, so look at that. Oh, it's even nicer when it's coloured. The laptop, I believe, is here. We've got more gizmos, so let's take all of this out. Let's check out the carrying case, also stylized. Oh, look at that, yo. Super cool. You got all the little Milo and friends. Very cool, very comfortable. It's extra padded. You got zips. Got some pouches for your mice, hard drives. Very cool. Very, 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 very interesting. Setting this aside, we have the laptop. To one, it just folds like that, a bathing ape. Right, and you get a limited edition Asus VivoBook, a bathing ape, uh, Milo, baby Milo here. Boom, baby Milo. It's cute, that is very cute. Okay, I've got a nice little stand here. Uh, oh no, it's not a stand, it's a laptop. It's a mini laptop for baby Milo. Check that out, that's so cute. It's the same VivoBook for baby Milo, so. Here's him. Whee! And now you got baby Milo staring a little bit too close to a laptop, but I'll allow it. Moving on to the star of the show. Take a look at this, folks. That is so cool. It's got a photo etched, if I'm not wrong, design here. Very nice. Oh, even the, even the touchpad has the babe design too. Let's see what accessories we have too. We've got a babe mouse asus marshmallow mouse oh that's cute asus marshmallow babe mouse right there of course you've got your i believe it's a 90 watt charger let's check it out yes 90 watt charging adapter and just oh you've got stickers for your keyboard this is the first time i'm actually seeing something like this and just a handful of documents. I think there's more bathing aid stickers as well. And that's about it for accessories as well. So let's open this up and see how it goes. I love this very nice orange keycap here. And just check out the enter key over here with its, you know, diagonal white stripes. Not too sure whether these are hazard lines or lane markings, but it's a really nice touch. And just look at the touchpad. You don't feel the edges at all. It's so cool. Let's turn this on. It lights up. We've got backlit chiclet keyboards. We've got the Asus A Bathing Ape logo here. That's that's a nice touch. All right, folks, it seems like we have to set this up for a little while, but you can already tell the Asus VivoBook A Bathing Ape edition is just simply stylish. It just pops, if you know what I'm saying. But if you're the kind of person who is not looking for something so flashy, a little bit more stealth, but still pack a lot of performance, then you guys gotta check out the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED. If you're looking for a laptop that has both power and portability, look no further than the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED. It features a large 70 watt hour battery and stunning nano edge 14.5 inch 2.8K 120Hz OLED foldable display, powered by the latest 13th gen Intel Core i9 CPU and RTX 3050 GPU. All packed in a thin 16.9mm chassis that only weighs 1.5kg, so you can stay focused at work or play. For more information, check out ASUS.com. Right off the bat, you can see that it has its own custom a bathing ape wallpaper, which 
I really, really enjoy. Speaking of which, I really love the build quality. It's not as flimsy. You, you do get a bit of, you know, flex on the screens here, but man, the screen itself is so vibrant. From what ASUS is touting, this laptop is made from aluminum and you can already tell it has a very solid build. Moreover, this laptop is military grade standard 810H. So it is able to withstand some of the most toughest uh, conditions. That being said, you know, don't, don't chuck this laptop anyhow you like. It's a very beautiful laptop and I don't think baby Milo would agree with that as well. Now, obviously, the standout feature of this laptop is the screen. It's Pantone validated. It's got Visa Display HDR True Black 600. Now, of course, some of you might be saying, you know, why is it not 4K? And I'm sure that ASUS has put in some thought into, you know, balancing the battery life uh, and, and 2.8K, if you will. You have a 75 watt hour battery on this, and that probably explains uh, why the resolution is dropped to 2.8K. But for a 2.8K resolution OLED screen, 15.6 inch laptop, this is as good as it gets. Um, everything is still sharp. The fonts are still sharp. The colors are just mind blowing. Not to mention you guys get very decent sound quality out of the speakers. They are certified by Harman Kardon and you also have Dolby Atmos as part of that as well. Moving over to ports, you guys get a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, a USB 2.0 Type A, a HDMI 1.4 port, and a 3.5 headphone and microphone combo jack. So plenty of ports to go around, but having a USB hub is always a good choice with laptops. So hardware-wise, this laptop features up to a 13th Gen Intel Core i9 processor, up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM, and a whopping fast one terabyte PCIe 4.0 SSD. Of course, performance also depends on the configurations that you guys want in your laptop. But what I have here in this unit is fully spec'd out. I would say this is more considered as an ultrabook than a gaming laptop. So that is something to bear in mind. And even so, I have to say that this laptop performs very well for daily tasks and productivity. Heck, we even had some casual gameplay on this with Hades at 2.8K resolution and it's still very buttery smooth. And yeah, you're still gonna have a good time. But of course, once we get into heavier games like Apex Legends set to default, that's where you start to see the Vivobook, you know, trying to keep up with the high demand. Again, overall, I'm really impressed with the Vivobook S15 OLED. So with that, I would say this is perfect for beginner level content creators and students embarking on their creative journey that would like more style. So we're gonna wrap things up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Geek Culture for more content just like this. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Till the next one, this is Zeki. Adios.